Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. It's craft time. You want to craft? I do. You got your sugar on? Let's I do. do some crafting. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are painting pumpkins, and we're also um, putting floral arrangements on pumpkins. But this is something that we want to um, start yes. with because when this you paint This has happened pumpkin, to me. Yes. Well, to my friend. Yeah. So when you paint a pumpkin, you want to uh, put a hole in it somewhere so that it has some, some way to breathe so that it doesn't explode. Not okay. kidding. You know how people paint them turquoise for autism yes. awareness? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, a friend of mine did that, had in her kitchen, and it exploded. Because yeah. what I normally do, and I'm sure you do, like, you know, carve a pumpkin, yeah. you make a little lid. Right. As long as you cut a little lid. Or you could even just, just put, put a couple put holes, some holes yeah. in it here or there. So. Then you'll be good. Just be careful when you paint a pumpkin the yeah. solid color. That's right. And if you are going to do that, you can put those underneath your arrangement or yeah. whatever. Oh, totally. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and, and I think that would include maybe, um, this is Mod Podge. This is the shine on the outside. That would probably include that, too, because that's something that holds everything together. Hey, I, I, I think you're right, yeah. just because it's keeping all those pores from yeah. breathing. Right, exactly. You know. So I want to start with this. Here's an arrangement uh, that my friend Carol and I worked on last night. We've got a little bit of blue. We painted some leaves there just for a pop of color. Um, I found this on Pinterest, but this is the part that has not been done yet. I'm going to check out this little, this little cat. All right, this is just a little pumpkin that I painted black. Um, got some ears on him, got some whiskers on him. It's a little felt nose or a little puff nose. And the eyes, can you see they, they're shining a little bit there, um, rhinestones. Oh, rhinestones. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. He's got gotcha. pink eye. Those are the only <gasps> ones I had, pink, pink They're rhinestones. Con that's contagious. I'm I know. Near it. Okay, so I'm going to move this guy and put him over here on the top of the pumpkin. You can glue him on there. So this would be what he would look like totally. And then you can set one down beside. Isn't it cute? I just had a brilliant idea, Kel. What's that? You know what I would do if I was at home making this project? What? I would also paint the bottom half black uh -huh. and put that, and that would be my cat Dolly Purton because she's so overweight. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jeremy, that's hilarious. That looks like Dolly Parton. It's, it's cute. That would be cute. I'm just saying, that just came to it's me. It's easy. Thank you, inspiration. All right, so there you go. So I can I can put that in there, and then if you want to do a couple more to set down beside, that'd be great um, on your kitchen table, or you can even put that outside. I just think because it's such small pieces, you might want to have oh, that yeah. close. Um, mm -hmm. So basically, we're going to make the cat. We have painted the pumpkin. Here's a smaller one. We painted the pumpkin black. And then, Jeremy, um, I, I've cut out these little ears with felt. Perfect. Let's set this down so we can work yeah. on it here. There we go. Adam will keep it right there. And then, I, so you just take hot glue and felt. Yeah. And but what you're going to do is either put toothpicks or something like I, I cut these off of oh. stems so that you can make yeah. them. It's very petite. Do you want I'm me to glue and yeah. you can hold? Now you just put one down the center, mm -hmm. and we're going to put. Okay. Is that enough? Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to put that in there. Be careful. I always worry yeah, about burning yeah, myself. Yeah. And then put it around the edges so that I can put them together. Can you see what we're yeah, doing? Yeah, you're guys? sandwiching them together. Yeah. So that's going to be the ear. So we've got, so that means they'll stand up that way. All right, we'll do the other one. Standing up. Okay, so just the first line yep, down the middle. Just the line. Okay. Now, so it calls for rhinestone eyes. Guys, you can find those anywhere. Um, and like I say, I just used the ones I had that were pink. Um, so these will be you the could, ears. If you um, if you have stuff in your craft drawer, you could probably use a lot of different things for eyes. You know, just like oh, find oh, buttons you could. You could or use little buttons. whatever That's you right. have. Let's find the flattest side. Let's put it, uh, his eyes on there. So just put a little glue. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you're brave. That's hot, hot glue. Yes. All right. Where do you want this one? Wherever you think his eye needs Can to be. Can I go be. Yep. there? Okay. Yeah. Put it there. That was a little too much. I'm so sorry. That's okay. I... Got there we go. Away. Now we are going to put his whiskers on too. Um, so let's put the whiskers Gosh, on now. Yeah. Sorry, I was trying to get I'm that. Gonna, glue I'm going to hold from it you. there. Now I cut the whiskers from you know something, uh, some just some twine. Where's the two that I had earlier? Who uh, knows? Wait, where are they? That's okay. Look. I'm cutting two know. more for some twine. Oh, here. I found one on the ground. <laughs> that's been the thing with these projects that are so small. I found one on the ground. Yeah, that's okay. You can do two or you can do three, and you just put them together, guys. Oh, can we add this one? I like three. You like three? I, like I kind of like three, too. I like three. Uh, the one on Pinterest was only two, but we're going to do three. And let's just put a little glue right in, in the, the center. center. Okay, I'll let you do that because I don't want to burn you. Yeah, and then and then I'll put that on the cat. I'll hold this up just like there. Okay. All right, so we'll put it right... Oh, careful. There. Careful. And then we'll put the little nose on. Oh, I didn't see the nose, yes. Little, little fluff ball. Little fluff ball nose goes on there too. And then that one, uh, I was thinking that it would be fun to do a little, 
this little white one and then have the oh, little yes. black cat. So guys, you can so get all these leaves. Right you can okay. buy them this way. Um, and then you can um, paint them or whatever you want to do, but you just put your leaves on there. Let's just pick whatever you want, Jer. We're gonna have to, we're gonna need more. Um, do you want to put flowers too? Yeah, we'll do a flower. Okay. Whatever you wanna nice, do. Like oh, that's there. so pretty, I love that. Let's do one more leaf, leaf here. Okay, there we go. Oh, sorry, yep. Gotta get that base. Um, so guys, whatever you've got, you maybe have something at home as far as uh, color of um, spray paint or whatever. Oh, we didn't put the we didn't put the ears on the cat. Oh. <laughs> we left the ears off. I, I knew, have I have the I, knew I have the kid. I'm just gonna something. hold him right here. Okay, so we're gonna go like this and just put those little ears on him. He he's not right without his ears. He looks kind of like a little. We spider made the ears. We just forgot. Yeah. All right. You could probably make spiders too. You probably could. Okay, so there's your little cat. Okay. So anyway, it's super easy. And look, so we let's just slap this on there. It takes so long to craft. That is why I went ahead and did one, and you can see what it's going to look like. And then, I mean, eventually, see yeah. how that cute that would be. Yeah. He's so sweet. All right, let's move on down to this other pumpkin okay. real quick. This blue. Guys, one. I just chose some colors that I've got in the house. Um, and it's kind of, um, I don't know, it's purples and greens and that sort of thing. And um, I kind of like the, the bright blue on there. And I didn't press these down. Actually, this was my friend Carol's idea to leave them kind of lifted. You can mm -hmm. press them flat or not. But if you spin it around, then you can go ahead and finish decorating. Jer, do you okay. want to put one on? I would love to. I wish we had two glue gu guns because I'd be working on this other thing. So anyway, just it's so fun to, there's so many things you can do with pumpkins. Freelance, yeah. See, that's how yeah, it mix it in like, with the yeah. with the these. With those, yeah, and then just make it. I think random is fun. Random is fun, and put them on your front porch, guys, or on your uh, your table or mm. your, you know. See, I like to like hearth. layer them. How's that? I like that. Let me see it's that. like a little layered, little effect. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, that looks great. Like, and then if I worked around it, I could keep yeah. going and yeah. kind of make it look. It's a fun project to do with the kids or just to do at home by yourself. I I I love pumpkins. Oh. There's just a plethora of things you can do. So there you go. This fall is going to be a ball, y'all. Yeah. If you craft. If you craft, if you craft. that's right. All right, coming up, we have a brand new contest to tell you about. You could win free groceries for a year. How's that sound? Yes, please.